In the abyss, the light gradually disappears. Life flourishes around this absence of light, and what a life! At around 100 meters deep, the Tenophores. These gelatinous creatures possess luminous organs to frighten off their enemies. Still deeper, 1,000 meters below the surface, in the ocean twilight, we find the Siphonophores. These are the largest kind of plankton. Some measure up to 50 meters. Their organs are not spread out, but grouped together. On one side, they have their stomachs. On the other, the swim bladders they use to float. Between the two, they deploy a net to trap any food which falls from the surface. Descending into the abyss is like traveling back in a biological time machine. There are maybe 2,000 species of abyss-dwelling fish. A terrifying bestiary. Viperfish that can eat things larger than themselves. Gulper eels that gobble everything which passes. Survival is tough at 1,500 meters deep. At around 3,000 meters, there is no more light. It's the kingdom of the vampire squid, a prehistoric cousin of the squid. The vampire squid has blue blood laced with copper. Its enormous eyes detect slight variations in contrast above it, towards the surface. Its vision is entirely adapted to the shadows. <laughs> 